I'm ready, you're ready, we are all ready for stealing world records. Don't worry about any previous conversations that had was happening before this. They are all normal. No bots here, that's for sure. Yo, Crunchy. Steal men's souls Thank you for the three months. I appreciate the support. And if you want to support and you're watching on Dragon Blitz Daily, hey, you could subscribe to the channel. I want to see a big subscribe number because it helps out a lot. And it helps the video in the algorithm. I love algorithms. Algorithms are so PogChamp. See, PogChamp is an emote in the Twitch.tv uh, video service infrastructure. Is it just me or is the Hydrostorm piss color? Is that a new... Are we randomizing the Hydrostorm colors now? Is that real? Did, did Richter just summon piss? All right. I love the future. But yeah, subscribing, leaving a comment, all that stuff helps in the algorithms. Algorithms are great. They they control all of our media consumption. And also my job. Killing Dracula with piss. Holy piss, maybe, perhaps. What up, MZ? It's been a while, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm fine. Didn't really warm up either, so... And the sun's in my eyes. My, my hand is cramping. Um, my mom called, said I, I have to be home by dinner. I probably sh mm. Definitely kill the bats. Eh, Fire Boomerang's not worth it. I don't even play this game. Dude, I don't even play this game is probably the best. Right? Option select. Rip headphone users, that was loud. What are you talking about? Is my audio messed up or are you just trying to meme about something that I'm confused about? Empty hand. Is there a reason those guys drop an empty hand? I wonder. I shouldn't grab that because there's no item to check there. It's loud? Can I have someone that's like normal tell me if it's loud or not? Because all of my audio settings are normal. It's fine. Okay, you guys are just being stupid. Thank you, Twitch chat. I was going to say, I don't fucking, I didn't touch my audio settings. I did have a Windows update between the last time I streamed and now, so there's always a non-zero chance that the Windows update breaks something, but... Yo, crit 140-something. Crits are crazy. <laughs> oh, see, that's the thing. Oh, you guys don't know. So there's this thing called the uh, volume knob that you can turn to change the volume on your end. Poggers. Also, I said this the other day. Those spittle bones do not have a drop table in the vanilla game. Does that mean in Bounty Hunter it is impossible for them to drop anything? Or has Bounty Hunter completely gone off the rails and said, fuck it? Everything can drop anything. That is correct? Okay, cool. I'm just making sure that my knowledge of the video game makes sense. They cannot drop? Okay, so anything that doesn't have a drop can't have a drop in Bounty Hunter. That's probably for the best because some enemies don't have drops because they cannot spawn over and over again, like Mudman, for example. And the Warg. So if those were, were required, uh, it'd be a bad time for everyone. Yeah, just lying to streamers for no reason is definitely one of the the pastimes of being a Twitch chatter. That's for sure. It is unfortunately very normal behavior. Not good behavior, but normal. Uh, there's no reason to check that item because there is no item, so I gotta stop jumping there. It's a familiar card. I will grab... Ooh. Blue Knuckle and Iron Shield. I know what they drop, so I can ignore farming them. 
Ring card. We check that immediately. And it is Corpse Weed. Which... I'd be smoking that Corpse Weed. Um... Where's the best place to farm? I guess the... Library? And I'm 99% sure you have to hit the head, otherwise it doesn't count as a Corpse Weed kill. At least it, if it works the same way it works in Vanilla Symphony of the Night. My ass is grinded for every single item in this game multiple times in my lifetime, all right? So I know how to farm enemies. The normal way. If the randomizer has changed it and I lose the race because of it, whatever, man. Back in my day, we didn't randomize the video game. We used to play the game as it was intended. With glitches! I have the worst luck. 32 Flamberges and only one Heaven Sword. That's not impossible to, to believe. Yeah. I can see that. I mean, Heaven Sword is the rarest drop in the game, so it is magnitudes less likely. I'm surprised these guys die in two hits. I'm gonna be honest. Playing the way our god Igarashi intended. Exactly. If we were playing the way he intended, we would actually be playing uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night on your Xbox Series X. Huge crit, by the way. Love to see it. Hashtag ad. Hashtag uh, go fuck yourself. On your PS Vita, exactly. On your Wii U. That's right, the Nintendo Wii U. The newest console from that company. Monster Vile? Eh. Alright. No reason to keep going. I should work on organizing another Bloodstained Tourney. What are you talking about? We already have another Bloodstained Tourney. You're looking at it right now. You just got to squint a little bit. <laughs> it's basically the same. <laughs> nice crit. I can't even one-shot these fucking guys. That's not good. Oh. Not the spell book. Ooh, monster vial. Ooh, library card. Wait, the normal spell books have more health than the tomes? I didn't know that. I assume they were the same for some reason. Neutron bo We can vial stack right now, which is very funny. Not that it would be very useful. I'll just leave that guy. Just kidding, psych! Okay, never mind. I hope that would uh, RNG min up a drop, but it didn't. Uh... Well, I'll take a solo bat. Got to keep the books on their toes. Exactly. Um, this does mean I will be farming less, unless I start wing smashing into enemies, which I probably should get better at doing. Funny enough, I've worked really hard to learn how to wing smash in a way that avoids a lot of enemies, so I don't get extra level ups. Um, but now I have to like throw that out the window, which is very funny. This preset is um quite a bit different. Like, it's also slow to just sit here and, like, kill all these enemies, but it's probably optimal. 
Because you need drops. Bastard sword? All right. You don't need to call me a bastard. We'll see, though. Zappo! Thank you very much. What was that item, by the way? I didn't really see. How do I feel about library card at entrance? Um, I think it's probably not the worst idea. But... In a low complexity format, layer zero is very, uh, I never, I pretty much never need that warp actually. Layer zero is pretty important. Mm. But I've also been in situations where I've needed every single library card. So it's tough. Yeah, no, playing uh, Soten on Requiem is not... Uh, it's ill-advised for many reasons. If you want to speedrun, like, the fun way. Requiem is still f speed runnable. How much fun you'll have doing that? Well... Definitely want to kill the Flail Guards, because they are one of the higher percent chance enemies. To just drop anything. Nice. Uh, Duplicator is in the drop pool. Like, that wasn't removed for any reason for this preset, right? We didn't get any, like... Honest gamers saying duplicator's too strong as a random drop and needs to be removed. Just harder to find. Harder to find as in like, you guys made it harder to find intentionally or harder to find by the nature of the preset because you just need to get it as a random drop. You have to find which enemies. Got it. Okay. Well, flail guards have one of the highest percent chance of dropping items. It's them and bloody zombies. And... We looked this up the other day. But yeah, killing the flail guards is probably worth it since they have a high percent chance to drop any item. I mean, I don't think there's a reason not to bring the ghost card out. Leveling him up could be nice for a little bit of extra damage and maybe killing some extra enemies. Did you see that big brain fucking strat, by the way? Using the Bible to keep myself safe. Uh, okay. Probably worth. If I find a shield rod, that's going to help a lot with uh, enemy farming later. too confident about the way I've been playing up to this point, but I don't think there's too much I could really do about it. Other than maybe the early library card play, but even then, that doesn't feel amazing. I'll grab this. Unironically, I think Force of Echo has a, a pretty decent niche in this preset. Anything that can help you farm awkward enemies... Like, Gas Cloud, for example, I think is, like, insane. And always worth.
Like, there's a bunch of stuff like that that I want to um, keep in mind. I also think save splits are crazy good, and I should just be doing them almost everywhere. Like, I need to find more spots to save split. We haven't gotten a drop from Bloody Zombie yet, so I need to make sure I kill all the Bloody Zombies. I'm hoping that this would protect me. And also kill some zombies along the way. It's, like, kind of working. I am killing some bloody zombies along the way. We didn't get anything for that. All right. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Still no drops from bloody zombies. I've definitely killed more than 10 at this point. Gas cloud, huge, love to see it. Especially because this is a low complexity format as well. Having access uh, to mist isn't like unheard of early. Having this Varda early is kind of nice too. Gravity boots? Okay. I am going to refill my MP here. I think it's worth. Because I'm trying to use a lot of it. I like the gravity boots color. It's a good one. the Axe Knight other drop is yet. No drops from Flea Men yet. Okay, Jewel of Open. That could be layer two. It's also not impossible that Mist is still on a flight layer as well. I think the correct play... Mermaid statue can also be on a flight layer. That flame star probably is worth picking up, but not anymore, obviously. Hmm. Oh, by the way, speaking of Joel's, and you guys are doing a great job with um, Joel of Open, I did add Joel Wick, capital J, capital W. It should be a uh, channel emote now. Magic Missile. Um, dude, power of... Power of Mist is really good. Joel Wick? It, wait, did it not go through? Is that another Magic Missile? I believe it was. Well, I've been lied to.
Is that Alucard Shield as the... Oh, Axe Lord Shield. Okay. Then we gotta get out of here. Well, now I'm upset. Dude, I... 7 TV fucking sucks. I'll say it. That shit is god-awful, but it's frustrating that it's the only... Additional emote third party Tribute. for Twitch you steal men's that gives you essentially unlimited slots without paying for it. Very sad. Busta. Thank you for the prime. I'm a Busta right now. You should add it as a global emote. Nah, Twitch ain't based enough for, for the Joel global emote. Twitch also doesn't like emotes that aren't square, which is very strange. I, for whatever reason, Twitch is really obsessed, ooh, pentagram, with all of their emotes essentially just being squares. They're not a big fan of creating emotes that are different dimensions. Where third parties have to, you know, do it for them. What is that? Maybe Halbin? It is Halbin. Dude, Bone Archer. This is insane. They have like a over 10% drop chance with base stats. And I have better than base stats right now. I just want an item. Holy shit. Okay, my strategy of just farming enemies with high drop chance might not actually be that good. Especially when I just get fucked like this. Oh my god. Can they get randomized to dropping nothing? Is that real? I feel like that's real, right? Because if so, that means my plan- Well, it's Hunter Sword. Okay. My plan of, like, actually farming enemies is, like, a bad idea. What was that? Money? Sometimes they'll drop empty hands. Okay. But they'll at least drop something if it's out of the drop table. Because that happened in this seed. A um, skeleton mm, knight. Skeleton soldier? Whichever. The, the early game ones. Dropped an empty hand. Okay, shut up, Crazy Four Blades, smart ass. Obviously, there's a chance they drop nothing. That's not that's not what I mean by that. Unless you're not being a smart ass. What up, lady? I can't tell. Chat's been trolling me today. It's put me on edge. Leapstone. I apologize. I didn't mean to yell at you. I'm just on edge, man. I'm on edge because chat was trolling me earlier. I don't know what's real anymore. I'm getting gaslit. Fuck! I love loading.
69. Box. Okay. Second castle could be layer three. Currently, we don't know. I'm not even paying attention to Ghost Bro right now. He could be doing all sorts of crazy shit and I'd have no idea. We definitely save split and check uh, the relic over here. Because I believe at this point, the only things it can be are really useful relics like mist or junk. Or a potential uh, familiar card, but that doesn't like matter to me. Damascus, more like dumb ass kiss. But yeah, for the simple fact that uh, I could potentially just get a familiar card here and then reset it away with the knowledge is pretty nice. We'll see, though. Just barely enough magic. Please be nothing so I can reset. Echo. I mean, I have to reset that away, unfortunately. As much as I would love to have Echo Force of Echo, it's so much time loss to go back with such little MP for a relic that's technically not necessary. <sighs> 26 minutes? I don't feel great about this seed, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, this is training for Bounty Hunter. You soft locked? That's very funny. Don't tell me how you soft locked. But boy, oh boy, soft locking is very funny. I forgot I had freaking leaps done. I need to start using it. Uh, there's corpse weeds in here, but I don't think they're worth farming. I don't know, actually, farming here. I should probably just farm in the library. Because it's pretty consistent to farm there. I don't know, man. Is Cubus only even worth picking up at this point? It's like, what, one extra item check and that's it? It's pretty much useless outside of that because you can't get um, the other drops, right? I also need to stop for getting to grab this stupid goddamn dumbass warp. Mm. <laughs> Another gold plate. But yeah, I'm trying to think of a use case for... Does Cube of Zoe still have you have the uh, item drop from the candle in the library at least? Because that's like the only use case I can think of. No? Okay, then Cube of Zoe is literally useless. Only entrance. Is a relic that drops an entrance? Or an item that drops an entrance? What item are you talking about? Unless that's like a preset specific thing. There's an axe and entrance? Why? Huh? Is it like a glitch? Is it not supposed to be there? The randomizer just never replaced it, so you guys can't access that uh, 
specific candle drop. Has that candle drop always been vanilla this whole time and we just never noticed? It's always been there in every preset forever. That's crazy if I've never noticed that. But I mean, how often am I breaking every candle? Dude, I'm so bad at this game. Break all the candles to find all the secrets. So true. Sixty-eight HP. Almost nice. I think in this preset. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think you check. If you're gonna check Grand Flume at all, you check Grand Flume first with the save split. Yeah, because then I could have saved split this away, but it's probably, it doesn't matter. Uh, tooth is Cave Troll, second castle, okay. Cave Troll and fucking uh, doo, doo ass fuck, whatever his name is, um, penis weed, dank weed. Which I guess I can go farm now. I don't have optimal drop chances. But that doesn't matter if you simply just get lucky, forehead. Oh, you need to go, actually. You're going to be a problem. Maybe we, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna come back once I find the other. Corpse food can be farmed without farming for the head. That's not how it works in the vanilla game. What are you talking about? Holy rat. Am I, am I making that up? You just need the stock to appear. And then it's a corpse weed? This whole time? Oh shit, I've been wrong this whole time. Damn. I I genuinely thought it turned into a corpse weed once the head spawned. Oh. That's good to know. This streamer knows nothing about this game. True, actually, yeah. This is actually my first playthrough. Well, I can make a small optimization to my all items speedrun if I ever go back and do that again. Tribute? You steal I mean, I do it like once a year, so might as well. Malcav, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Making our way towards that sub goal. Hell yeah, brother. Can I get a... Uh, dino dance in chat?
Do luck potions help increase drop chance? Uh, technically, yes. Is it a meaningful amount? Eh. It's like maybe a percentage point per kill, which can, you know, over time matter. Give me that shit back. I'm doing doo-doo damage right now. Yeah, sub goal is still party time. Jolie symbol. Uh, I think we go to the cave trolls. Inform them. Been away dealing with shit. That's understandable. I've had an insanely busy last couple of days, personally. The YouTube editing cave has required my assistance. So I spent like the last three days just nonstop editing my uh, next video. Which should be out if you're watching this on Dragon Blitz Daily and you haven't seen the, the Dragon Blitz video yet. 69 damage, nice. Uh, it should be something called something along the lines of using time travel to speedrun. Symphony of the Night, using time travel to speedrun Castlevania Soten, something like that. It's a good video, go watch it. Is that Alucard Shield? Doesn't matter, because I already have it, but still, that's very funny. Well, there's my Masamune luck. Every time, man. Every time I want a Masamune, I just get a different drop. Feels bad, man. I'm really sorry to hear that, lady. I hope things get better for you. What up, Carlos? Dude, I'm bad at the game. <laughs> I don't like being bad at the game. I'm not here trying to kill the pants. The pants takes too long to kill. You have a good support, so everything's looking up. Okay, that's good at least. Uh, what platforming category is this? This is, uh, no, wait. Oh, that's how you soft locked, isn't it? That's how you soft locked, isn't it? Cause I'm pretty sure if you kill him while he's hugging you and spinning you around, you soft lock, right? Or am I thinking of the bat soft lock where he grabs you in bat form and you soft lock? That could be the next uh, relic. You soft lock a minotaur and werewolf? That soft lock is still in the game? That's funny. I didn't know you could still soft lock there. Could you find the room coordinates and add a code that disables bat when you're in that room or something? I wonder. I need to kill ghost dancers. They also have a very high uh, drop chance. They're probably pretty much always worth killing. If you try hard enough, anything is possible. Force the script after the fight to detransform you. I'm going back for these fuckers. Monster Vial 1. All right.
Yeah, the gravity jump color is nice. I'm a fan. If I was more complexity pilled right now, I'd probably be beelining it to grab the warps only and then go back to the first castle to check the merman, uh, the holy symbol location. But I don't think it's worth it to do that. Uh, Monster Vial 2 and Neutron Bomb. This probably isn't worth it, but we'll see. Especially when they fly off screen like that. And I fucking get owned because I'm an idiot. Uh, whatever. Bad fight. She's so fake. True. Oy, oy, oy. Uh, you know what? I probably should have save split at the start of this, right? I'll save here. I think save splitting at the start of this is really good for uh, info. This is a worse save split, but it's an okay-ish one, I feel like. To save split after Beezlebub, maybe. Yeah, that's something I need to work on is knowing like better save split opportunities for sure. The other Coliseum one would have been a better save split. I even considered it. But I just refilled my MP instead. So that's something I need to get better at, for sure. Save split before death? You think it's strong positioning? I could see that. Yeah, Bible plus Wing Smash, pretty good combo for this idiot. Okay, I want to keep this Arcana, so never mind. Mm, no Varda means my damage is going to be ass, but who cares? I do kind of wish I had a better weapon, but... Don't butterflies have a very high drop chance? Well, they do, I guess. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. It's bound to happen eventually. If I did the safe spot, I would have missed out on that, which is very funny. This is a clown video game sometimes, man. This is definitely some clown emoji ass shit. Forty three minutes. I have to beat the game in fifteen minutes. I don't see how that's even possible. I'm gonna be honest. Even with that extra drop. What am I doing? I ain't going to fucking creature. We got reverse library cards and shit. Uh-uh. I'm just wondering where my routing went wrong then. If I'm going to be, like, very far behind. Because I still need to do two separate farms. I mean, I can do one right here. Hmm. 
bad at the shop. I mean, yeah, I guess if there was an early library card play, then that might have helped for sure. But I don't think that's enough to save like 20 minutes or whatever. Like some other stuff definitely had to have gone on. Dark armor. I mean, dark armor is cool. I'm not going to say no. If by cheating you mean got lucky somewhere? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Let's check this real quick. Missed. Okay, now going back to first castle feels pretty worth it. Dude, give me the fucking relic. Oh my god. How likely is the dark armor drop? Also, do we know... How the drop chances interact with each other? Like, if you're farming an enemy that has a really high drop chance... Uh, for the, like, common drop or uncommon drop or whatever, and it's more likely than the Vlad Relic chance, does the other item drop overwrite the Vlad Relic drop? Check rare, then check uncommon, then check global. And all of the Vlad Relics are the rare or uncommon? I imagine rare. Okay. So they always take priority. Got it. Farm corpse feed in the warp before mines. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going back to first castle anyways, so I'd rather just farm them in the first castle. Yeah, I don't see myself being able to beat this time. I, I don't think it's possible. I need to skip some stuff. This makes me think that probably Allrox had some checks that were familiar cards, if I had to guess. And by skipping those, I missed out on some earlier Vlad relics, maybe. I could see losing time not doing the early library card, but... Man. That's annoying. I'll give it one try. All right. Uh, maybe actually before going back to the first castle, doing a inverted library card and checking creature might be worth it, but I don't really know. Uh, where's my where's my sword? Jesus Christ! I'm blind as hell. It's like the worst spot for it for me. All right, I guess that wasn't too bad. But 
banana. Or bandana? I couldn't tell which one, actually. I just saw B-A-N and I was like, alright, good enough. I hate this fucking game. Mist could pass my ass. Uh... You missed the stream notification? Uh... Sorry about that. If you want to not miss them in the future, you could always join the Discord and leave the notifications for my announcements channel on, because my announcements will always uh, notify you guys when I go live. Exclamation mark Discord. If you're able to, and if you care that much. What up, dinner dog? This is probably a dumb idea. But I'm gonna save. Is save splitting here faster than just going to the warp after doing the merman check versus save splitting and then, I don't know. I'm there, but I just didn't check Discord. Uh, no worries then. Dude. That heart refresh unironically could have been helpful. But whatever. Yeah, that safe split's a bad idea, actually, now that I think about it. I think it's probably better to just backtrack to get to all Rox's quarters. Yeah, I just see a 0% chance I win this. I don't know where all the time went, personally. Very confused. I think skipping all rocks probably had something to do with it, if I had to guess. I don't know. I don't think Swarm would bet against himself in chat if he got, like, three random Vlads and was, like, straight cooking. Damn it. There's also a non-zero chance that the rib that I got was the complexity, Vlad, which means me doing complexity checks is actually kind of stupid. But there's no way to know that, which is annoying. Cause like if I find the rib card, it's like, okay, cool, whatever. What up, Crispy? Record. Not looking likely, Haas. Not looking likely. I'm going to be honest. Like, I would need the next two Vlad Relics to drop immediately, basically, and I don't think that's happening. Because I think the intended progression is 
Silver Ring is vanilla, and then Holy Glasses has the final item. But... Hopes the house comps a drink at least. I don't think it's happening. I think we're we're going broke at the casino right now. Did we see both bloody zombie drops? I think we only saw the one. I think that actually does make it. Mm, I'm starting to think maybe skipping all rocks is a bad idea in this preset. Um, because the odds of needing to backtrack after finding a, a familiar card is pretty high. So finding the familiar cards as early as possible is as pretty important. So checking every location is probably the safest strategy to not force yourself into a situation where you're backtracking in the later half of the seed for like three or four uh, relics. That's my guess though. I don't know if that's correct, but that feels correct to me. Cause like if this is a random, yeah, if this is a familiar card, I could have checked this a long time ago, right? And it's zombie, are you fucking kidding me, dude? All right, whatever. I only killed a billion of them. What? That's cool. No, that's really dope. I, I love when that happens. That's really awesome, man. So yeah, I think skipping all rocks, I've learned skipping all rocks is probably bad, even if I end up having to backtrack a little bit. Um, okay. That's probably garbage then. Having a personal standard route seems to be the best option. That's the thing about low complexity is you just can't really skip stuff. Or at least you shouldn't try and skip stuff. I feel like it's just a bad idea. I could see the truth to the, the library, though. And this is heart card. Oh, so I guess I got kind of lucky in that regard. Fire demon. So I need to kill zombie, though. Which is, like, really shitty. I mean, Fire Demon, no matter what, is going to be a little bit of a, a a trek, right? I imagine Swarm had to do the same thing to backtrack for, for it, but... So where was the um, rib card then? Probably should have grabbed the whatever. Rib card was at glasses. Interesting. Well, I mean, we skipped something. That's what I was thinking. It was either glasses... Uh, Gallimoth or Creature, right? Those are the only options because we've done every other check. That's probably like the worst way to get to a zombie. But like, how else do you get to zombies? There are no other zombies in the game, right? It's just, it's just entrance. Glasses with rando card? Yes, I got a random blood drop. That's what we're talking about. I'm, 
I'm so mad about that. We could have gotten that so much earlier. I went out of my way to kill so many of those fuckers. I wasted so much time killing them and didn't get the job. So annoying. Uh, whatever. I don't really care. I just have to get to Alchemy Lab? Dude, Alchemy Lab's on the other fucking side of the goddamn... There's, like, no easy way to get there. Library card instantly is too OP. I think it should get patched out. Yeah, I could see that being a problem. I don't think it's too OP. I think it's just very volatile, which already compounds in a preset that is already very volatile. You know what I mean? Because if you do early library card and you miss out on Soul of Bat at entrance, you're losing minutes. The same way as if you, you know, library card and you find Soul of Bat at fucking library. So it's not that it's OP, it's just that it adds additional variance to a preset that is already very variant, uh, variance heavy. Realistically, the optimal route is using the library card after Spirit Orb, realistically. That's probably the optimal route, and I probably should have done it. My dumbass ain't using my brain very good, but that's fine. It's the most stable route, but you still get somewhat punished by, um... The Soul of Wolf check, but that's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Because that just means that you're still grabbing it before the other person if they don't library card at all, if I had to guess. Maybe we just kill this guy. This other guy's kind of an asshole. Because the other guys are around. Do you guys like that sound effect? It's pretty good, right? Trying to find like a faster way without bonking to get up there, but it doesn't feel very good. Alrighty. I mean, I wasn't too far off considering my route was actually kind of doo doo ass. But yeah, could have been better. Getting the random drop helped a lot, though. Because if I didn't get that random drop, that adds, like, another three minutes easily to the time. 
Because then I would have had to gone from entrance to check glasses, probably. Or I would have had to check glasses, then go entrance. I don't know. And that's assuming I checked glasses and not... Because I don't think I would have checked glasses. I think I would have checked um, creature next because of the inverted library card. I mean, I would have saved three minutes in movement alone if I library carded in the correct spot. And then if I just check all rocks earlier, I'm probably in it also a really good spot. So I can't feel too bad about my time here. Because my library card in the correct spot, I saved three minutes. And I probably save at least some amount of time doing all rocks earlier so I think that's the lesson that we've learned is all rocks uh, it's pretty good you should you should check him and then uh, the library card thing I just need to do every time after spirit orb probably Learning ideal save splits. There was there weren't any save splits this time that would have saved me time. I mean, I would have saved time by skipping some save splits by not doing some bad ones, but. Uh, I've explained my opinions about this randomizer a lot. Dean Haas. This is probably the most volatile preset we've ever had in a tournament setting. Um, and I think if you try and uh, extrapolate your like placements as a reflection of your skill, you will likely uh, be disappointed. But you can still have fun playing the game. So ultimately, that's if people are having fun. Trouble That's really what matters, right? Mother, no more. So, how, I personally am not taking any how, of this stuff very seriously. Like, I'm going to do my defeat. best. I'm not going to just int every single time you I play the, the randomizer. But I also have to be to understanding, know. knowing that, like, hey, I can only uh, expect so much when I need to get a lot of luck on my side to do, like, incredibly well, so. But ultimately, I'm here to have fun. I'm here to have fun and support the community. That's why I'm here. And I think it should be as simple as that for most other people as well, but that is what it is, you know? Tell me what. Yeah, I'm practicing for the tournament because I've uh, I've said it uh, earlier today, but I'll say it again. I do plan on entering the tournament. Uh, any potential prizing that I may... I'm saying this now before anything happens. Uh, any potential prizing that I may or may not win. Maybe I'm getting it too ahead of myself, assuming I'll win prizing. But I, I will not accept it. I'll just give it on to whoever places next. Like, assuming I get first, like, second place, you know, they just ignore me from the equation. Because I don't feel great personally thinking that I could luck my way into a situation where I win out a large sum of money over somebody else just because of RNG. You know what I mean? So I'm just making the decision now to say I won't accept any prizing, but I will still enter the tournament to be a part of the community. Does that make sense? That's how I personally think is the best way to deal with it, because that's what I'm most conflicted about. When I get money and fund my tournament, that's not what it's about. I don't know. I feel like it's very selfish, even if it is to fund my own tournament, to be like... To just take the prizing, I guess. I, I I personally feel like that's selfish. But you could have your own opinions, and that's fine. I, I that's one of the reasons why I've been so conflicted about it is because it, it it doesn't. There's no simple answer here. But I think I've come to a conclusion that feels good for me. And uh, if you don't like it, uh, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Not you specifically, but anybody watching. If they feel differently about it, I don't care. I'm I'm doing what I'm doing, and you can either enjoy the the show. Hang around for the live streams and the, so you the YouTube mean. videos and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Or you or I'm don't. It doesn't really right. matter to me. I'm sorry. 